Hey, this is Kevin with Consumer Reports, and what I've got here is the Taurus 709 Slim Pistol, and I've done one of my multi-part reviews on it, and uh, this, this video segment here is going to be basically part one, where I kind of give an intro on it and talk a little bit about the specifications and just kind of give you an overall summary of it. I'm going to try to keep this uh, part of the video relatively short. Uh, I do tend to get a little lengthy in some of my other parts, but I'm hoping to give you uh, something that you can kind of look at in a condensed version. Now, at the website, ConsumerReports.com, um, you can see the, uh, the, the web page version of this uh, where, where I go through and I talk about everything here and I have links to the, um, to the different parts of the reviews. But uh, just real quick, I ended up purchasing this, this handgun. Actually, I got two of them at uh, Black Friday sales. Um, in uh, Thanksgiving 2015 and I was looking for a uh, single stack 9 millimeter uh, compact uh, carry type of handgun and a local store around here had a great price on them they were $200 a piece and so I ended up picking up two of them and uh, one of the things that, that really sold me on getting this particular handgun was a, a review that was done by Guns and Ammo um, magazine and uh, basically, in the in the uh, in the in their review, they compared this against. Uh, it was a total of ten uh, compact nine millimeters, and uh, this one I, I would say kind of fell within the top three. And their comments out of the magazine, uh, basically, they said it proved to be this test best value. It printed the single best five shot group of the entire test, and one was, and was one of the three pistols that took that they took to the end of the test, firing a uh, thousand and fifty rounds. So for me, you know, I, I kind of took their word on it for, for reliability and, um, and what you can get out of a handgun as far as uh, accuracy. Um, so I ended up purchasing it. The, um, there, there's actually, you know, four different, we'll say, models of the Slim version. This is the Taurus 709 Slim. They also have a 740 Slim, which is basically 40 caliber, and um, the 709 is 9mm. And it comes in two different finishes. It comes in your uh, your black slide here and also a stainless slide right there. Now, um, in my review, just to, to hit some of the the high points, um, you know they've 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 come out. I say they've come out. They have a, a trigger system which they call a single action, double action trigger system, which basically allows you to fire the 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 handgun in a single action mode, like you would. We'll say say more like for your striker fired pistols. But if for some reason you have a light uh, primer strike for some reason, you can also pull the trigger one more time and the double action mode will actually take over to potentially fire that round. To give you some more on the specifications, it's 9mm. Um, it's a 7 plus 1 capacity. It, uh, it weighs in at about 22.2 ounces with 8 rounds of 115 grain ammunition in it. It's got about a 3.26 inch um, barrel length. The uh, front sight's fixed. The rear sight is, is adjustable with both uh, windage and, and elevation. The, uh, the total length is about 6.2 inches long, and it's about 0.97 inches across the slide and the grip, and about 1.07 inches across the uh, edge of the slide here, and um, the magazine catch or the uh, manual safety. Overall height is about 4.54 inches. MSRP is about... Uh, 301 uh, $301 and I think you can find it pretty regularly somewhere between a $350 and $380 price. If you've ever looked at any of my reviews you know that I'll end up doing a multi-part review and uh, in this case I've got five parts where I talk about what's in the box, external and operational features, disassembly and internal features, and range tests. And for each of those um, you know I've got multiple photos and other videos that are out there. And as I was doing my review, um, some of the pros that I thought existed were that the rear sight's adjustable in both windage and elevation, which is not a feature that's found on a lot of compact pistols. I uh, also found the grip to be very comfortable um, in my hand. It had a really nice feel, uh, even without the use of a magazine extension. Overall, I think the trigger pull was good. It was coming in at about 6.2 pounds in the single action mode, and it has a, a, a very short reset on it. The, um, the pistol is very simple to disassemble for cleaning and uh, reassemble. And the, uh, the, the 709 Slim proved to have good accuracy potential for a compact handgun. 
and it uh, did this with this with all the ammo that we shot in the range test and the range test is really covered more in part five uh, some things that are really is it a pro or con or a comment you know really for you to decide and uh, you know in my opinion the front and the rear sights seem to seem to be made from some type of polymer material um, it would be nice uh, if that would have been metallic to be a little bit more durable uh, Taurus advertises the magazine release as reversible release uh, and it comes configured in a right hand configuration although I didn't change the uh, the magazine release myself to the other side um, Taurus didn't give any instructions on exactly how to do that so you know I, I took a close look at it and uh, I figured I would just hold off on doing that right now it would be nice if they had given instructions and the uh, the last comment is the ton gun, the handguns seem to be sensitive to uh, potentially steel case uh, tull ammo or tula depending on how you want to say it um, but it's really hard for me to say if it was truly sensitive to that or not. Uh, we shot a lot of ammo through this pistol right now. If I were to guess, we're probably pushing around 400 rounds through it. Um, early on, we uh, we did have some uh, failure um, failure to uh, to feed issues, and uh, you know, I'm not sure if that was really ammo related or if it was due to um, maybe maybe not having a good a good grip or what some people might call limp wristing the, uh, the handgun. Uh, one of the cons um, about the handgun is, is I just didn't feel like this side adjustment screw right here for elevation. Um, it just it seemed like the tool didn't really fit real well in, in the screw and also it just didn't seem like it had a really good feel to it when it was turning. Um, later it felt like uh, it actually had maybe a detent in there somewhere but it just didn't, I didn't really like the feel of it. The, uh, the other was is that this uh, the three dot sight system, um, the height of the dots and the top of the sights, there just seems to be a little bit of disparity between that. Um, when the top of the sights are all lined up and the uh, flat across, the dots aren't perfectly lined up. And that's maybe me just being nitpicky, but you know that was one of the things that just you know I wasn't 100% happy with. Now for my, my bottom line comments, the uh, the Tor 709 Slim pistol proved to have good accuracy potential for a compact handgun, and it proved this with all the ammunition we shot. The handgun seemed uh, sensitive to steel case uh, Tula, but I had no issue with the premium ammunition. Again, you know that could be just uh, operator error initially because I did have several different people shoot this handgun. Um, overall, I think the trigger pull was good, and the sights seemed to adjust without issue. Uh, I just didn't really like 100% the adjustment screw itself. Uh, it takes a little getting acquainted to the uh, long initial trigger pull um, before it gets to that single action mode. But when you get the feel of it, follow-up shots can actually be, be pretty quick um, and on target. Overall, I'm pleased with the Taurus 709 Slim, and I think it makes a, a, a great value compact handgun. Again, I've tried to keep this part one uh, video of my Taurus 709 Slim review uh, relatively short for those who, who don't like watching lengthy reviews. Um, there's lots and lots more detail uh, throughout this entire review. And uh, again, this you know, if, if you don't watch anything, watch this one. And uh, it, maybe it'll give you an idea or give you some interest to watch the other reviews. Anyway... Um, as always, if you, uh, if you like this review or the video, please like or subscribe, and I'll try to continue to bring some detailed reviews. Thanks.